children and their parents welcome back to our English class for this week. Muy buenos días niños, muy buenos días papitos, espero que se encuentren super fine y hayan podido descansar este fin de semana y estemos ready, listo para nuestras clases de esta semana. Así que comencemos con nuestro calendar y después vamos con la actividad de esta clase sobre sí. Let's go. Ok, babysaurios, now we're going to check it out. What is, what day is today and also what is the weather like today. So in our calendar, we're going to check it out so it is monday 19th of october 2020 it is windy today the season is autumn excellent yeah it's monday today ton 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 let's continue with the activity for today let's go Ok, comencemos con nuestra actividad de hoy sobre repaso de Siri y también vamos a ver qué personas o qué profesiones vemos en cada uno de estos lugares. Así que comencemos. Let's go. Ok, let's start now. What is it? It is a fire station. Who works in the fire station? ¿Quién trabaja en la fire station? The fire fire. Excellent. The fire fire works in the fire station. Los bomberos trabajan en la fire station. So it's fire station, fire fire. Excellent. Listo. Let's continue with the next one. Con el siguiente. It is a supermarket. Supermarket. It is a supermarket. What, what can we do in the supermarket? ¿Qué podemos hacer en el supermarket? Yes, buy our groceries, nuestros alimentos, nuestros implementos de aseo, todo lo que necesitamos en nuestro hogar, ¿cierto? Muy bien. Who works in the supermarket? The cashier. Los cajeros, the cashiers, works at the supermarket. Los cajeros son los que nos ayudan en el supermarket. Muy bien. Ok. What is this? It is a bakery. Bakery. What things we can buy in the bakery? We can buy bread and cakes, pan y pasteles o postres mmm, delicious and who makes them? ¿quién los hace? the baker the baker make these delicious food sí, el baker es el que prepara esos deliciosos alimentos let's continue with the next one This one, what is it? It is a police station. Police station. It is a police station. And who works in the police station? Who works in the police station? Yes, the police officer. Great job. In the police station works the police office he is the police officer excellent work ahora continuamos with the next one okay next one what is it it is a hospital hospital it is a hospital who works in the hospital who help us can nos ayuda in the hospital there are two kind of people 
There are doctor o doctors. He is the doctor. And also we have here the nurse. She is the nurse. They help us in the hospital. Doctor, he's the doctor and she's the nurse. Excellent. Okay, okay, okay. Now this one, what is this? It is um school. Yes, it is a school. And who works at the school? Who works at the school? The teacher. Yeah, teacher work at the school. Excellent. Teacher. School. Great job, baby Saurio. Yeah. Okay. Now this one, what is it? What is this place? It is a restaurant. Restaurant. It is a restaurant. Who works at the restaurant? Yes. The chef that is make the food. It is el que cocina la comida. The chef. Also, we have the waiter, que es el mesero, that is a boy or a man. Or also, we have a white dress, that is a woman. Como pueden ver en esta palabra, en mesero, sí hay dos formas diferentes de decirlo, tanto como, o sea, una forma de decirlo para la mujer y otra para el hombre. En las otras profesiones, no. Digamos, entre comillas, son unisex, pero esta es la única que tiene esa variación, que es white dress for the boy and white dress for the woman. No sería nada más, entonces continuemos con el, the next one, con el siguiente. What is this? What is this place? It is a museum. You can see the pictures and... The sculptors and who works here? ¿Quién trabaja en este lugar? Oh, yes, the security guard. Él nos ayuda a cuidar estas valiosas pinturas en estatuas. Security guard. Excellent. So this is a museum and he is the security guard. So that is everything for today. I hope that you have fun and enjoy the activity and learn the occupations about the people that work in the city. Eh, bueno papitos, bueno niños, eso sería todo por hoy. Espero les haya gustado la actividad eh, y también hayamos aprendido las ocupaciones o los trabajos que desempeñan las personas en la ciudad. No sería nada más. Kisses. See you later, alligator. Bye-bye.